Hello internet, my name is Ace and today I want to talk about thumbnailing for illustration. So what is thumbnailing? Thumbnailing is probably alongside sketching one of the most vital things to getting a really good, good quality illustration. Look at that first shark I did, absolutely terrible. But so if I'd have gone jumped straight into drawing my or sketching the fin final one without thumbnailing and working through ideas it'll look like that which is it's just absolute street trash so the second one looks a little bit better it's still it's still not right it's i'm basically just looking at the one that i did before what i like what i don't like and then taking it a little bit further on this one i actually really like this one but i don't like his mouth open i'd like him because he's got this big fat stomach i'd like him to be like quite a lazy shark so I'll maybe change the expression do another shark illustration another time um if if i run out of ideas so um so yeah so these these three you can already see that the design is getting a lot better and this one's based off a square the other ones are based off sort of circles and um the design is just getting a lot more stylized a lot more pushed and more cartoony like if you look at the fin on that one that i just did before this one there you can see how the fin curves into the back into the tail and on this uh this one i did now i really like this one as well i didn't go with this one in the end i went with the the last one but this one is also also pretty good so then i wanted to actually plan out my composition so I started with a, a square that's, well, a rectangle, I guess, that's the rough approximation of the paper size, then worked out my where the thirds fall. So a quick, easy tip of getting a good composition is putting things that matter where the actual thirds fall, the actual points, the cross sections. And as you can tell by the video that's already on my channel, I went with the top right one of this. And there's no way I'd have got to this level of composition and character design without first just roughing through my ideas. So I definitely recommend everyone who watches this video, next time you're creating a character, next time you're creating an illustration, just spend not even long. I'm, I'm, each one of those took maybe 30 seconds to, to draw. Just keep doing that and pick the things that you like, amplify them, the things that you don't like, just back them off a little bit. You don't have to stick to your first idea because usually the first idea is not the best. Okay, I hope this has helped and it's only been a quick video. There's a ton more videos on my channel. If you click that subscribe button down below and go and take a look at all those videos. There's new videos coming out every weekday, Monday to Friday. Leave comments in the comment box down below if you're struggling with something or if you don't understand something I've said and I'll get back to you. Anyway, until next time, have an awesome, awesome, awesome week, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. If you want to support me and in turn grab some awesome goodies for yourself, such as early and extra videos and Google Hangouts with me, from as little as a dollar a month, head on over to patreon.com slash aceconnell. I'll see you there.